Just returned from Europe, I've seen London and Paris, and I'm glad to get back home to Yankee land. In fact, the little USA looks better now to me. It's a real place for the real folks understand. But still I often sit and think, what would this country be if we hadn't men like Rosenstein and Hughes? You'd surely have a kingdom, there'd be no democracy if it wasn't for the Irish and the Jews. What would this great Yankee nation really, really ever do if it wasn't for a Levy? A Monaghan or Donahue Where would we get our policemen? Why Uncle Sam would have the blues Without the Pats and Isidores You'd have no big department stores If it wasn't for the Irish and the Jews You all know Charlie Froman And his brother Dan, of course how often have you laughed at Louie Man? And Lou and Joe, who used to run the little music hall, and that wonder clever George M. Cohan. Dave Warfield, Peter Daly, Charlie Ross, and Andrew Mack. For years and years they drove away the blues. Where would you get your actors from? I'd really like to know if it wasn't for the Irish and the Jews. What would you do for amusement? There would be no place to go. If it wasn't for the Schubert, Frank McKee and Marcus Lowe, Kay and E and Billy Brady, Hammerstein I mustn't lose. I want a Dave Velasco say you couldn't stage a play today if it wasn't for the Irish and the Jews. Talk about a combination, hear my words and make a note. On St. Patrick's Day, Rosinski pins a shamrock on his coat. There's a sympathetic feeling between the Blooms and McAdoo. Why, Tammany would surely fall, there'd really be no hall at all if it wasn't for the Irish and the Jews.